the problem. How do I launch my antenna up high over the trees? I mean really, really tall trees. My slingshot and my fishing line may do the trick, but to really get it done right, you want a pneumatic tennis ball launcher, AKA the antenna launcher. Now most launchers are capable of clearing most trees. I mean, some really, really tall trees. We use a weighted tennis ball. We stuff it down inside the tube, deep, deep down inside the tube, just like a cannon. Fill these things up with air and release the trigger, emptying the can of air, pushing the tennis ball out the other end at a high velocity. This is my antenna launcher. And uh, what I am about to show you absolutely blew my mind and made me want to throw this in the garbage. This time on K6 UDA Radio. This is a home-built PVC antenna launcher. This is a $3,000 t-shirt cannon. And this is the Freedom Antenna Cannon a.k.a. the antenna launcher from hell. This is Dustin, a.k.a. the Mad Machinist. Hi, I'm Dustin. I'm a member of the Sierra Foothills Amateur Radio Club and I decided to build myself an antenna launcher. Basically it launches a tennis ball, which you tie fishing line to, and then you use that to pull your antennas up into the trees. Other members in the club have antenna launchers. I was a little bit jealous, and not wanting to be uh, behind the curve, I decided to uh, build one that apparently is a bit overkill. But uh, it's, it's very impressive, it's a lot of fun to shoot, and um, I had the ability to fabricate it, so I went with uh, an all metal construction versus the general PVC construction of the other members, or other antenna launchers actually in general. The uh, canisters here are built with uh, old uh, fire extinguishers. The barrel is a two and a half inch, uh, three foot, three and a half foot long PVC. The firing mechanism is sort of a custom designed firing mechanism. Instead of using a sprinkler valve, which is the common way to do it, I designed a uh, piston diaphragm valve, which essentially works off of you have a trigger chamber and then your firing chambers. And when you uh, release the pressure out of the trigger chamber, the piston inside of it slams back with excessive force and um, but essentially opens up the valve and then you are able to dump all four chambers in at once into about um, a one and a half, one, one and three quarter inch diameter valve system. It uh, then can propel the tennis ball up the barrel uh, anywhere from a empty tennis ball all the way up to a seven ounce tennis ball, pulling your string with it. So if you need to really crash it through some trees, you pick the heavier tennis ball. We, uh, we flight tested it, or range tested it, I guess, in a vertical setup with an empty tennis ball, we got an 8.6 flight time out of the tennis ball, and that was off of 105 psi. A general application for launching over trees is running at 17 psi on a three and three quarter ounce tennis ball, like which is um, pretty effective. It's pretty nice. That's that's my freedom cannon. That's uh, that's part of ham radio. There's a there's an aspect of ham radio for every individual. It's not just guys sitting at a radio plugging away with Morse code. It can be building air cannons to launch antenna wires into trees if that's really what you uh, you want to do. And that's what I wanted to do, so I built one. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, All right, one. Frag it out! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn! Definitely got some uh, height to do it. Yeah. 
Well, what did you think? Not as far as I thought it would go, but that's also a empty tennis ball. I think if I put the uh, weighted ones in there, it'd be well gone. Oh yeah. Got some uh, got some kick though to it. You got uh, you got a couple hundred yards on a. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and watching my friend Dustin uh, go crazy with his insane tennis ball launcher. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video everywhere you can. Hit that little bell notification uh, so you get notified when I do new videos. And we'll catch you next time. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm throwing this thing in the garbage. 7-3.